four steps to stop playing the blame game. Are you tired of feeling guilty and playing the blame game? In this video, I'm going to show you four different steps that will help you take responsibility for your own actions. Hello there, my name is Nordine Zwarig. I'm a two times Mr. Universe, a best selling author, and an international high performance coach. In this video, I'm going to talk about something that's been on my mind a lot lately, and that is called the blame game. It's where we avoid taking responsibility for our own actions. So I'm going to share four steps that will help you break free from the blame game and start living a happier life. But first, please like and subscribe so others like yourself can benefit from the content video like this one provide. Most people seem to blame others for their problems. This only will lead to making it worse. If you want to stop playing the blame game, follow these four steps. Number one, accept responsibility for your own problems. One of the most important things you can do in life is to accept responsibility for your problems. This means that you need to own up to the fact that you're the one who is responsible for your problems and not anyone else. Doing this will allow you to take control of your life and start working towards solving your problems. It might not be easy at first, but it's definitely worth it. Once you accept responsibility for your problems, you'll be much happier and more successful in whatever you decide to achieve. Number two, stop pointing fingers at others. Society today is quick to point fingers. It's easy to blame our problems on others rather than take responsibility for them. But once we accept responsibility for our own problems, we open the door to finding solutions and happiness. Blaming others only keeps us stuck in a cycle of negativity. It's time to take control of our lives and stop pointing fingers at others. We all have the power to create our own happiness. Number three, take action to solve your problems. One of the best pieces of advice I ever received was to own up to my mistakes instead of complaining about them. This doesn't mean that I should just suffer in silence. It means that I should be proactive in finding solutions. See, if I want to be successful, it's up to me to make it happen. It's not always easy to take responsibility for my problems, I know. But as I said, it's always worth it in the end. When I take action to solve my problems, I become happier and more successful. And isn't it that what we all want? Number four and final step, learn from your mistakes. We all make mistakes, whether it's something small like forgetting to put milk in our coffee or something major such as cheating on someone or losing our job. The important thing is not to dwell on our mistakes, but to learn from them and move on. Mistakes can teach us a lot about life. When we make a mistake and if we commit to moving on, we must face them, take action and deal with the consequences. This can be difficult, I know, but it's often a necessary and important process for one's growth. Live and learn is what my father used to say whenever I'd mess up at school or with my school assignments. By following these four important steps, you can stop playing the blame game and start taking responsibility for your own life. This will not only help you solve problems, but it will also lead to a more positive and successful future. I hope this video was very helpful. Please like, subscribe and comment. Also, if you are interested in using my services like private coaching, speaking or experiencing an amazing wellness retreat at top award-winning resorts such as Canyon Ranch or Savannah, please visit my website at nordinezwareg.com. Nordinezwareg.com. Remember, there can be no true and long-lasting fitness without inner fitness. Thank you for watching 
and see you in the next video.